Welcome back, Guardians. This is a segment from the Destiny Down Under podcast, which I co-host. We have added a small law segment where my co-hosts and the guests of the podcast answer law questions supplied by you. The first question is about if Guardians can live without a ghost, and the second question is about how the Crucible will continue in Destiny 2. Today's guest is Blue from Focus Fire Chat, a law-based podcast, and guests feature in the bottom right-hand panel. Feel free to leave any law questions in the description below, upvote anything you want answered so that it can feature on the podcast and the channel. This is the Destiny Down Under podcast, and I hope you enjoy. We have the first question from Night Warrior, who left a comment on YouTube saying, can a guardian live without a ghost? And had some upvotes, so I thought we'll have that conversation. Um, let's, You know what? Let's start with Log and Sloth. What are your initial thoughts? Let's Me? start with people that, right. yeah. That, that I'm not a law dude? Doesn't have not a law dude. Yeah, let's right. start with that. Here's my take. With a, Without a ghost, you can continue to live, right? Your ghost resurrects you, and then the ghost dies. You're still resurrected. Like, you live. Yep. But if you die, then obviously there's no resurrection. So... I'm not. Game if if that's if that's the nature of the question, in that do you instantly fall into dust if the ghost dies? I don't think so. But yep. I think that, yeah, that's that's that's, that's my take. Sloth. Once uh, I'm, I'm going to tie I'm going to tie it into log as well. Once you've been resurrected, you can live. If your ghost is had the light sucked out of it, you're no no better than you know Joe Blow um, down the street. Frank Sinatra, who's cleaning the tower at the back there, you know, like it's that sort of thing. You, he's, you, you can, you, if you get shot, yeah, mate, you're going to bleed out. That's all that's going to come. That's that's what's going to kind of come down to it, you know. Yep. Like you could suffer this typically horror, horrific death that comes with Destiny Gardens. You think about it, it, it is a very horrific death, getting sung to death, like your head just explodes, and your ghost <laughs> can't bring you back. Think about it. Oh, Are you talking about the, the, the death singers? Yeah. Are you talking about yeah, the exactly. death song? Like, like, like you, you just sort of, you, have, you, you just die. So, yes, you can live without a ghost, but you're just going to be like... You're not a guardian. You know, you're no just better a than this guy or, you know, this guy or... Yeah. All right. I, I'll, I'll agree with that. Blue, what's your answer? Uh, well, the, the short answer is yes, you can live without a ghost. Um as far as like retaining power and stuff like that, I think that's a, uh, it can go either way. We have instances of, you know, you have like sun singers who have the ability to generate light somewhat independently. Um, you can even argue that most most guardians have the ability to, to generate light in and of themselves yep. a bit. Um, and that's actually we, we we've had that argument a number of times over in Focus Fire. Um, but the, the only distinction really is that, and you see this with Eris actually, um, the only distinction is that when they die, you can't, it'll be their final death. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. and you see that with ghost fragment, the queen or the queen two, I think it is. Yep. I think that's the one with Aldrin and Eris speaking about that. Mm hmm. That's the that's probably the best card to give a sort of one line answer to that is um, yeah we suspect it's it's Osiris Osiris I believe and Eris that mm. are coming to see uh, the Queen in the Reef and Prince Aldrin's there I think it's Prince Aldrin that makes the comment uh, you are without ghost or something like that and Eris says my next death will be my last so totally can live without a ghost however like Log and Sloth surprising the chat with dropping that knowledge if you get killed again it's game over um i agree with blue i think you have when your ghost i feel like your ghost activates something inside of you that gives you the powers to manipulate the light and similar to warlocks self-resing i think there's a certain level of light manipulation that you could do without a ghost. You know, Eris has powers. They're probably more dark powers than anything else, uh, but she still has stuff. And the Awoken are still, still have powers too, and they, they're not necess they're not guardians, not all the Awoken are guardians, especially the first fleet that went out there, um, and they were born in the light and the dark. So I think your ghost does change you to some extent um, to manipulate the light. 
you do need mostly your ghost to do that, but I think there are other sources of light that you can that you could potentially manipulate. Um, but short answer is yes, you would still live. Uh, but having powers is probably another whole topic. Yeah, I mean personally, yeah. I see oh, I yeah. see the ghost as like a conduit to the traveler, <laughs> which is the light, right? So you take yep. that connection away, you'd be inhibited at least. Um, yes. Maybe maybe it's just a matter of amplifying what's already there in the in the person. The ghost there can sort of bring would, that out more. I don't know. We're going to find out because the traveler is trapped. Remember in Destiny Two, we're going to actually. Godly. We'll get there. I was going to say I would I would agree that the ghost augments that capacity. Uh, if you, um, I know Justin has a really Justin is an electrician in real life so he knows he has like this huge thing where he actually explains this using electric currents but you can also see this within ghost fragment uh i think it's thorn two or thorn three whenever whenever your kills the bandits you actually see this nod because <clears throat> it's it's pretty pretty safe to assume that these people are normal people that he's talking to during the that scene and he actually specifically calls out that they have a spark of light and so if you actually look at light as kind of like an animating force within the universe, that actually makes a lot of sense. Every living being has light. It's just how much light. Yep. So uh, it's like the force, right? The you, you have, yeah. I wasn't going to go that <laughs> far, but sure. Um, you, you, everyone has it. It's just it's do you have the ability beings. to manipulate it and what, what capacity do you have? So the traveler, the traveler doesn't necessarily the traveler isn't necessarily light, but the traveler has an abundance of light, and that's what the ghost allows us to be a conduit of. Yeah. So we have we basically become a superconductor rather than just a normal. Yeah. There, there's in the in this the storm caller quest line, it right. yeah. it says there is arc light inside. It says there's arc light. I think inside of all of us. Um, or the, you know, and a spark can bring it to life or, or can be like, you know, eliminated essentially. So yeah, hundred percent. I think the traveler is likely our main source of light. It definitely has a conduit between our ghost, but if, if the new subclass abilities that were added with taking King, right, was, you know, you went to a, a lightning storm on Mars where the Vex were actually harnessing like arc light in the storm and you became a storm caller. Um, you went to the Black Garden and pulled from the Void. Um, you also went to the Forge on Mercury, a place known for like solar energies closest to the sun, right? So, you know, there's other areas that we can pull uh, light from, apart from the Traveler. All right. Sloss just stuck to the gents, but I mean, if you want to do another question, Matt, totally cool. With yeah, it. I've got another question here. Cool. Uh, so this is from Show Your Stripes. Hey, Marlon, I have a question. I thought for Destiny 2, if the threat is in the last city, how are we going to have PvP? The Crucible was run in the tower in designated zones, but with the threat of the Red Legion, how is there going to be a Crucible then? What would you think the PvP would be if they decide to add it again? <laughs> Do you want me? Well, I'll, I'll go first. I, I love think that question. Add- I, think I, I add- love that question, though, because it's so <laughs> accurate, too. It's like... You guys just took away all our stuff, like all our stuff. Yeah, like literally all everything. of it. Yeah, I uh, think. Log, what's your what's your initial reaction, log, to that question? Oh, I just want to say this: there's no PvP in Destiny Two. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. There's Do no not. PvP. In Destiny. No, I just, we're just going to have to tell Sloth this when he sits back down. <laughs> Get his Sloth. earbuds in, um, Sloth. There is no PvP in Destiny Two. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to worry about that then um no personally i think they're going to justify it by basically they'll get us we'll be we'll be in an outpost and they'll be making people train against each other to um you know strengthen soldiers it's just the same premise so, you know you yeah. just be you know encourage infighting to train against to fight against the darkness or in this case the cabal i, d- I doubt that we're going to you know, there's going to be some real story-driven reason to, you know, we need to get back to this area to take uh, control to be able to then be in the Crucible again. I don't think that'll be the case. I think it'll be, Shax will be there. He'll be out the back and he'll have his own little tent set up or whatever and you'll he'll still be running the Crucible. Trials got in. We need to fight against one another so that we can train to fight the Cabal, blah, blah, blah. That'll be about it. So I don't think it'll change anything. Sounds legit. Uh, Blue? 
to let's play. I, 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 I'm, I'm on board with the, uh, the, uh, in our, in our, I'm so focus fire is hosting you. So we have a couple people who are chatting over there and they're like PVP permadeath, no ghosts. <laughs> and I was like, yep, there you go. Elimination on steroids. That, that's Elimination, the, man. You get one it's, uh, it's what is it? Diablo hardcore mode. If you die in PVP, you're done. Just you're done. done. <laughs> and you then you can take character. all their loot. You can literally take <laughs> oh, their armor and their back. Can you imagine I'm the shotgun camping that would be going on? <laughs> no one would move. There would be literally Ever. no one. Like, like everyone would start with a shotgun and go. <laughs> 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 what what is it the uh the oh what's the no radar version on destiny why am i blanking inferno. on that one inferno yep. well, i remember one of the first inferno games that i played was with shotguns and that's literally what it was no one moved everyone was crouched in a corner and it was just like it was the longest game ever maybe that's it <laughs> trials of gary game. we're calling it now trials, trials of gary no res yeah. that's the new mode man <laughs> gary well my thoughts on PvP Destiny 2 is that, uh, so if you don't know, Lord Shax has a robot army called the Red Jacks, essentially. Yes. Um, and they are the ones who secure PvP zones. They go in on Hawks, I think. I want to say Hawks. Is that right, Blue? What, they like go the in of Lord of the Rings? Not, no, not, <laughs> not those Hawks. Oh, right. <laughs> no, that would be really oh, fun dude, too, that, Why isn't there a cutscene of that? Like a, a sweeper no, jack like, riding a hawk. Man. No. <laughs> a ship called the hawk. Sorry. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's called hawks. And uh, they secure the crucible zone. So if you pick up any of the crucible uh, ghost fragments, it's often a conversation between um, either a leader of the red jacks or, or either a mechanic what, looking after the Red Jacks or, or something like that. Um, and they pretty much secure the, the PvP maps for us to use. So my issue with, with Destiny 2 and PvP zones, which I think is why this question has been asked, is if we're so scattered, how do we secure these zones from enemies? Because all these zones are sort of enemy zones. Um, I don't think they'll bother with an explanation, to be honest, for that. Um, I think it will be like what Log said. We're going to have militia groups. We're trying to fight to re regain um, our power or regain control of the city, etc. And we'll, that will be the reason for for PvP training. Um, but technically, I am interested in how we're going to secure our PvP map without if the Red Jacks are going to be around, if Shax is going to be leading that still, etc. Shax is still around. We saw him in the trailer. I mean, yes, Shax yeah, is Shax, Shax is there, but I mean, maybe he's, you know, Warframes, um, whatever you want to call him, Red Jacks. I don't know. The, what the if dudes. we get to reclaim some of the PvP maps in the game? <laughs> uh, cool. You could do that. I'm happy with that. That'd be very I Halo Reach, so hey? Happy. There's so many maps in Halo Reach I that know. are like P PvE maps, sort of, well, not PvE, but like story maps that you then go back and fight in. That would be cool. Well, they sort of did that with the Gallahorn quest. Yeah. Right, yeah. With Yeah, but that, that was the wrong way around. We didn't... We did PvP was, and then went yeah, back yeah, there for story. Yeah, we did PvP and then yeah. there was a whole bunch of Fallen there. So I was just yeah. like, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. There's a Gallahorn. <laughs> now, now it's a good, there's a good reason to go back and clear those maps. But, you know, I mean, people will be angry if there's not new maps as well. Like, you have to have... Oh, there's going to well, be but new I mean, maps. What if, but... What, but if, what, what, if we, what if it's like you help the Red Jacks claim new maps... That would be cool. Maybe you, a new yeah, game mode, you know, like know a horde that, mode. We know that Shaq. Yeah, yeah, kind of like, kind of like that. Horde but like, fight. you yeah, know, horde mode. I would firefight. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> you you have. Um, we know that Shaq has some titans that help the Red Jacks out. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah, because oh titans what card universally is that? They are good blokes. through the roof. What card? Oh, is no, that? he threatens. He threatens uh, Tex Mechanica. He threatens That's Tex right. Mechanica because they're trying. They're trying to. Uh, they're trying right. to blackmail him. <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 this is no not do that again. No. I'm gonna <laughs> send Titans through your roof to murder you. <laughs> I reckon that's great. That concludes our uh, section with questions from chat. Uh, always feel free to leave uh, law based questions on YouTube. And if you upvote them and I see them, they can make it into the podcast. So thank you to those people who left those questions. Show your stripes. And there was one other who was the first one. Night Warrior. Thank you for your questions. Round of applause. 
Good job. Good. <laughs>